earth because karma is applicable on earth earth is 4.5 billion years old the sun has a lifespan of about 10 billion and the sun was there before a lot of other things started so in a sense in the larger scheme of things we are halfway through the sun has another five billion years for us on earth 4.5 billion years back and everybody knows right billion is a very big number right 4.5 billion years back there was the sun and there was space and there was air and there was water about one billion years later, billion, there was bacteria. Bacteria showed up floating around air, water, just there. About another billion years later, this bacteria started feeling very alone and started clumping up. So 2.5 billion years back is the first understanding of a creature. Single cell started to become a colony of single cells. Basically, they started becoming multicellular. Once this joint program began, and by the way, this is the precursor to animals as we know them today. Another 1.5 billion years later, animals like we understand animals started to show up. about 50 million, million, million years after that, plant life started to show up. Two hundred million years later, some sense of a human being started to show up. Bacteria, single cell, multicell, animals, plants, human beings. And then diversification began because you don't just know one bacteria. And one bacteria is a single cell. By the way, viruses are single cell as well. You don't know just one virus, right? We've, we've also been reminded who the earth really belongs to in 2020, because we began in the single cell organism. The diversification meant that plants proliferated. We had fungus, we had algae, and by the way, they belong to the bacterial family, but from their grasses, stems, shoots, flowers, trees, expansion of life started. The animals went from being really simple, not even having a spinal column, not even having a backbone, not even having a brain, to having a backbone. Having a backbone meaning they became vertebrates because your backbone is made up of vertebrates. So we went from invertebrates to vertebrates. Then vertebrates started diversifying further. We had amphibians, we had fish, we had reptiles, we had avians, birds, we had mammals, in the category of which we belong. But even in mammals, there was diversification because primates became another kind of mammal. And primates are the monkey family, although the monkey is not part of it, but primates are the ape, gorilla, chimpanzee the ones that we do maximum scientific research with 
because they are our closest evolutionary last step. Bacteria, multicell, multicell without spine, plants, multicell with spine, with backbone, with brain, people. Can we all, even with this rudimentary understanding, see that intelligence group? Can we all agree? Yes? Can yeah. we all? Awesome. Can we also agree that fire group? We started with some heat. We started with the sun. But can we agree that fire grew? I mean, today, there are those who live off the grid without fire as well. But it is also the fire of digestion that I'm talking about. Can we all agree that fire grew? We have very complex digestive systems. We have one of the most complex digestive systems. Although the cow has four stomachs, we still have a way more complex system because we are two-legged animals. Like we stood up. Can we also agree that awareness group? I'll tell you why. This amoeba floating around in the air, amoeba, bacteria, virus, germ, floating around in the air, if it rains, what's it going to do? Nothing. It will be washed away or hang in there, depending on how strongly it is attached to the air. What can an earthworm do? It will try and find a place where it doesn't drown. It will try in that limited area. What will a dog do? More choice. Find, find shelter. Find shelter. What will human beings do? They will sing, tip tip barsa, pani. And look at it and make wonderful fried food to eat with it. They will play with it. They will get annoyed. Clothes are not drying, fungus on the wall. Awareness and awareness is what brings us choice. So can we all agree that awareness and choice grew? Yes. Yes? Slight digress here. When you want to be good at something, you have to know it. If you want to be good, you have to know goodness. If you have to be bad, you have to know badness. If you have to be a cricketer, you have to know cricket. If you have to be a musician, you have to know music. If you want to live in Mumbai, you have to know how to park. <laughs> In being a karmic light warrior, you have to know karma, light, and warrior. And in being a karmic light warrior, in five minutes, you have to know karma, light, warrior, and word medicine. The understanding of evolution is crucial in karma because and back to where we stopped, which is as all systems became more intelligent, more complex, more fiery, awareness also grew. And awareness always leads to more choice. Choice cannot happen without awareness. In the most fundamental understanding of karma, karma is Action. action and that action has a result action result action consequence action result action consequence action result action consequence the thing is you cannot have karma without the freedom of choice. Your freedom of choice based on your awareness will give you certain indications of the action you're going to take. Therefore, 
karma does not apply to animals. It does not apply to plants. It does not apply to babies. It does not apply to people in coma. And the last category of people it does not apply to are the enlightened ones. Enlightened ones do not store or carry forward their karma. And the importance of this is this. Karma is an evolutionary principle. Evolution works like the floors of a building. Because you went on the second floor doesn't mean the first floor went to it. We have bacteria today, including in our bodies and require them for our good gut health. We have viruses today also. Four point, they came a billion years later, 3.5 billion years ago. The invertebrate, the earthworms didn't stop being produced. Not that you didn't have certain variations that didn't work out. Dinosaurs got extinct, but reptiles didn't. <clears throat> I think that was a signal. Good time to say cheers. Dodos got extinct. Birds didn't. In evolution, a small part of the big part moves away and a modification begins. That modification may work as it has or may not work like dodos. That understanding that I coexist with everything, our last, our last and closest ancestor is the ape is the gorilla. They're still there. They haven't gone anywhere. So evolution is not the death of the previous step. It is a coexistence. Karma as an evolutionary tool is important threefold in our healing journey. Because I have come from all of this, I have all of this. The, the vertebrates who came from the invertebrates will still carry certain symptoms, certain characteristics, certain attributes from there. So it wasn't a transformation. It was an evolution, which is why that gorilla can exist. Bacteria is still there. In fact, the origin of humanoid cells are traced back to the eukaryotic bacteria. This oneness of me, I need to understand further this oneness of me and you, this oneness of you and me, this oneness of us. Why? Because on the first floor, bacteria. Second floor, other versions of bacteria having a party. Animals, plant. Animal diversification will give them another floor. Mammals will give them another floor. Us. There's a reason why we are at the top of the food chain. There's a reason why we're at the top of our hierarchy. And what does that have to do with karma? What that has to do with karma, number one, is because I have come from there, I also have it. What does that mean? It means I have plant and animal tendencies. Tendency is a very important word for us, my darlings. For those of y'all who accessed and had and were on the group and checked your email and you saw birthday karma, you will notice I used tendencies. Tendency is very crucial to understand as a part of karma because I just didn't come through my mother and my father and my ancestors. 
and my past lives, which is my direct lineage. I also have another lineage of plant and animal kingdom.